it was around 11 years ago when I have a discuss with my grand auntie about the Bible talking about the Moses and the Ten Commandments and she said story about the Moses and the Torah I know better than you because she said that I'm Jewish so I was a little bit shocked and I said well if you Jewish then so do I so since that time I try to make research and find about my roots in Indonesia, private religious practice is a matter of public record. The national government only recognizes six religions, Islam, Catholicism, Protestantism, Hinduism, Buddhism, and Confucianism. Citizens are required to declare their religion on their official ID cards, and Judaism is not an option. Yaakov was raised as a Protestant, and according to his government documents, he still is one. But since he found out about his Jewish roots, he has begun to practice his faith openly, despite the risks. To live as a Jew in Indonesia, like you become an open target for the locals, the anti-Israel. And the anti-Semitism is very high in this country. That's why I, I built a synagogue in this town, uh, in this place, because uh, I don't want to take a risk to build a synagogue in other town. It's not safe for sure. I don't know Let Yaakov Synagogue is located near the city of Manado in northern Sulawesi, one of Indonesia's few majority Christian provinces. Many Christians here harbor pro-Western and pro-Zionist sympathies. In fact, the province is home to the world's largest menorah, which sits on top of a hill on the outskirts of Manado. In terms of personal safety, Yaakov could not have found a better place in Indonesia to build his synagogue. Every Saturday, Yaakov functions as a de facto rabbi. He has never been to yeshiva and has learned much of what he knows about conducting Jewish services through the internet. There is a website told me that uh, now left only 20 Jews in Indonesia. Well, I can tell that that's not true because if in Manado we have a, with the Dutch Jewish name, we have a, like a, perhaps three, four hundred people. Like Yaakov, most members of Indonesia's Jewish micro-minority are descendants of Dutch colonists. Based on the story I hear from my family, the Dutch government recognized the Jewish religion. In the paper, in the ID, they put a Torah religion. They have a lot of synagogue on the time, and the Jewish life is very, very amazing. Like uh, 3,000 Jews in Surabaya, and they have uh, 5,000 Jews in Jakarta, 1,000 Jews in Manado. After a brutal war against the Dutch, Indonesia gained its independence in 1949. In the wake of independence, many Dutch and Dutch-descended people decided to leave the country. Most Jews, they back to Holland, they go to Australia or some Israel, and there's, uh, they who left here try to become low profile and don't want people to know that they're Jewish. So the Jewish family, the half Jewish people that I met, they already practicing Christian, Muslim, for more than 30, 40 years. Since discovering that he was a Jew, Yaakov has made it his mission to fill the synagogue with people who share his faith and his background. Equipped with a database of Dutch Jewish family names, he canvasses northern Sulawesi, looking for others like himself. I knocked the door and I said, uh, you know that you're Jewish? Some of them know, yes, we know that we're Jewish. Oh, that's Great, I said, here I give them some kippot or talit or some even judaica, such so a menorah. I'm not God, I'm just a human being, but uh, I feel like I make it a great job as a Jew in this country to bring the, these people back to the roots, the faith. <laughs> 